I'm go late. On my way to school, all good. Um, so I, I was at a seminar yesterday by Nicholas, uh, what's his last name here, Kraus or, or Christoph, Nicholas Christoph. But um, he was talking about something I thought was pretty cool. Uh, he said something about more than half of young people around my age have a positive view of socialism because the way that they're looking at it is that capitalism causes destruction and it's not necessarily that. But um, he was talking about when jobs leave, a community tends to become desolate. Uh, he mentioned Detroit and how when jobs left Detroit, the automotive industry sort of left Detroit. Uh, on the other side of the border, uh, the city closest to Detroit in Canada, jobs also left that area. And so what happened was that both places were now impoverished. However, where the US government didn't really do anything, the Canadian government started subsidizing the communities. They started co go, they sent like specialists to go in and I, I shouldn't say that, that's my interpretation. But like the, they had subsidies for the people of the local community. Uh, they had sort of like a, I want to say like a services where the people were still getting paid so it wasn't like they were desperate and broke and they started asking questions like so you used to do mechanical engineering for the longest time but have you thought about going into the service sector have you thought about going to the healthcare field you know what other criteria do you have they didn't see it as a oh that sucks now go do something else they saw it as a uh this is sort of like an opportunity to expand your your um, knowledge and resources so the Canadian government did, I guess you can call it socialism, where they helped the people out, they gave them subsidies so they weren't, you know, financially unstable. And they actually cared about the well-being of the people. And as a result, unlike Detroit, which most people joke about being poor and, and um, violent, in Canada, it didn't go that way because when shit hit the fan, uh, there were actually other people there to care about the welfare of the individuals affected. And that hit me hard, and I, I started thinking, you know, if America actually started caring about the little guys when they get, uh, you know, affected by jobs moving or by disasters, um, and they, they are, they're affected, or they get, wow, there's concern for the future and not just the here now, you can change a lot of communities. Um, and I know that that's what Europe does as well, and... It's very interesting to see that when you have a little bit of care and concern for the well-being of uh, an individual or of a community and you're not really just doing it for the sake of saving face, they actually grow and they don't go back to that bad place that where in America that tends to be the norm. And it's just like, yeah, capitalism isn't bad. Socialism isn't like the save all be all, but having a decent concern for another person, that could really be what makes the difference. I don't know, I'm just ranting at this point.